Right, so on at the front now. Got it jacked up in the axle stands. So this is what we fit on the front. Just to get rid of all this stuff here. Opened the door at the house, shut the garage door because it was far too hot. Can't even breathe. I'm going to put through this phone. Silly ears now. So first things first, I need to take that cap off, the screwdriver, give it a bash in there. Go. And get to the split pin. Close it up. Pull the split pin out. There we go. Put that back inside the cap. Later. Now, right. I'm sure this is a funny size because. Maybe, maybe a third. What's that? That'll do. It's loose anyway. These, these don't have to be, have to be mental tight. Get this cast on that off. Stick it in the cap as well. And then your hub should just slide off. No bother. So we'll put this to the side. Let's put your bearings in it. So we'll see if we can get the sniffles over here. This is the air con. So I want to undo the shock. We'll keep these bolts just in case we need them. I don't know if I can pull that off yet. There we go. Let's push that up out the road. as well.
Either that's just in case I need it. take the steering rack track rod end off and love these bolts on the bottom Let's see if I can get these off. Tack that in here, like. Simple as that. Bend it back into shape before I put it back on. And 14 now. So you know the, the usual trick to get these broken. Not like two hammers, but they usually have much room to get two hammers in for these things like that. Q Hamer. There we go. Once it came loose, old trick always works if you've got room. Try to dust cap, stick it back on the bottom. I don't think we need any of that anymore. So we'll go to the other side, do the same with the other side.
off. There's my 14. Just connect the shocker at this side. Shocker right out the way, I think it'd be needing that for a while. So the steering rack just joins right across the top both the wheels it's actually a connected road Your steering rack's actually this one here I don't know if you can see that can you Once you connect the rod, it goes right across the top, right to the other side. It's the side I disconnected before, right there. And this is your actual steering rack that goes up in here, steering up there. Like so it only steers from one side, but it's connected right across. Right, so where was I? Let's try and get this. Split pin out. See what I'm smashing here? Probably not. The problem with this one is it's not connected to anything now, so let's put this round. See if we can get the other hammer up the back. It never fails. Right, we'll just leave that connecting rod in the middle. And disconnect. Same here. this time.
Just a bit of brute force. Beat the shit out of it. There we go. Right. So. So. Let's flip the list for today. Let's drop this whole front suspension down. So that's the old suspension and old spindles and stuff for your hubs to go into. I'm going to replace it with this one here. Right, let's see if we can get the car set up somewhere. Be awkward, this. Season instructions you've got to use that jack to lift this up. I don't think so. Let's get my hand on the
So here are we. Once it's got that mounted now, a bit low to the ground, so I need to jack it up a wee bit more. Once I have a new suspension on the bottom. So I need to take these arms off. These. So you can thread these on high bolts. These high bolts go in so you can adjust like the camber, the wheels and stuff. 